times are dire. Um, we are we're feeling stressed as a world right now. Um, and as a community specifically around immigration. Reverend Seth Caperdale is organizing a group called DIRE, which stands for Deportation and Immigration Response Team. It'll probably be next week before somebody can call a phone number and know that they've reached the equivalent of um, sort of an ICE 911. If ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, shows up at the door of undocumented migrants in his New Jersey community, located about an hour south of New York City, Dyer would spring into action. Our alert will go out and a whole network of people, potentially hundreds of people, will rush to the location where ICE is carrying out the destruction of a family. And we will record that and we will publicize it and we will make it clear that the President of the United States believes in tearing families apart. Caperdale's efforts on Thursday are a part of a nascent movement by churches and community groups to resist the Trump administration's immigration policies. In Minnesota, about 15 congregations are preparing for undocumented people to live in their churches long term, organized by the religious network Isaiah. And earlier this month, about 100 demonstrators in Colorado stood outside ICE in support of Jeanette Vizguera, a mother of four who skipped her scheduled check-in with ICE and took refuge in a Denver church. Caperdale, who's announced he's running for New Jersey governor on the Green Party ticket, says he believes communities like his, with large populations of undocumented immigrants, are likely targets for potential deportation. It seems to me that you're talking about our government in really nefarious terms, yes. that you feel that there's, it sounds to me like almost like evil yes. at the highest yes. levels. At the highest level. The way that President Trump is behaving, we would call it a hate crime. New memos from the Department of Homeland Security allow immigration agents to remove undocumented immigrants who are found anywhere in the country and have been here for up to two years. Under the Obama administration, that was restricted to people who were found within 100 miles of the border and who had been in the country for 14 days or less. The Trump administration says it's not calling for mass roundups. All this does is lay out the exact procedures to make sure that the, that, that subgroup of people who pose a threat to our nation because of a conviction or a violation of public safety or have a criminal record are adjudicated first and foremost. That, that's it, plain and simple. Will you offer assistance and protection to violent criminals too? No, we will not offer assistance to violent criminals. That's a different matter altogether. Caperdale admits that in the event of an immigration roundup, there isn't a lot his band of activists could do besides record and publicize incidents as well as offer moral support to immigrant families. Right now, you're concerned about a potential emergency. There isn't an emergency from your standpoint yet, is there? There is an emergency. Sometimes you don't have to wait until stuff hits the fan before you can call it an emergency. The way that this whole culture has changed in terms of feeling like a safe place for us to live out our days has already happened.